CNC router operators and owners. Uh, welcome back. Coach Mike here with All-Star CNC, back in the All-Star shop, uh, taking a look at some of the things we're working on for you guys to help you hold your parts better. So as I was saying in the last video, what, one of the things we did is we invested in a few different pumps so we can do some different testing. We want to do some apples to oranges as comparisons. And what we did is we have, as we said, the big Becker vacuum pump, uh, one of the better pumps that you can get, uh, 17 horsepower, big machine. Uh, we want to be able to see how fast we can get our parts cut, how efficient we can be on those small parts with the maximum vacuum performance. We also have another great option here, the ShopSaver F4 pump that has the four different pumps. Great for those shops that have limited electricity or different uh, restrictions, so they have the different options. We invested in both machines to see what we can do differently uh, on the different two uh, and to see if uh, any of that helps. And the one thing that we did in order to get this done properly is we plumbed both machines. We can turn one off, one on. We don't want to be running both at the same time, so we've been able to turn one off, turn the other one on, and get uh, the readings on what those machines are doing for us, those pumps are doing for us. So let's take a look. We're going to do some testing right now. We'll do it both with the Becker, and then we're going to do it with the F4 and see what kind of difference those two uh, pumps can do for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the Becker pump demonstration on this part. We've got a 12 by 12 melamine piece here that we're going to try to hold. Obviously, without any vacuum, uh, parts can move pretty quickly. Uh, but we're going to turn on this vacuum system. Of course, we have underneath the spoil board in the grid table itself, we have our grid gasket in there to ensure no leak. We also have our EST tape on the side, so we're not leaking out of the edge. So we're trying to get as airtight of a system as we can. But let's see now what this ve Becker vacuum pump can do. Turn that on. We've got all four zones open. So pretty big area here. But even with all that open space, that board is held pretty well in place. Of course, if we wanted to improve on that even, we have our onboard gasket material. Uh, just a quick, easy peel and stick, adhesive act, put that on there. And when we talk about leak prevention, now there's no leak going on underneath here. And there is no movement going on there. Onboard gasket really clamps those parts in place. Uh, so great option, that Becker pump, a lot of airflow through, coming through that spoil board. But now let's compare it to the F4 and what that can do. So now that we've seen that Becker in action, let's go over now to the F4 pump and see what that can do in terms of part hold. Uh, again, without any vacuum on, parts moving all around. So if we're going to turn out, we're going to use it to start all four pumps on the F4 pump. Once we get those turned on, we'll see what kind of hold power it is through that MDF spoil board. I hear them going on. We've got two going, three. There's, now there's four pumps. So this F4, maybe not as powerful as the Becker in terms of straight flow through an MDF spoil board. And if we go down to the one pump on the F4 system, that hold becomes even less effective. We're getting that part held on. But if we use that gasket material, even with just the one pump going, there is very little movement going on here. So with the F4 pump, plus gasket material, we've achieved the same amount of hold as we get out of the Becker pump. We've said for years and years to our customers, you don't always need, you don't always need a bigger pump to hold parts, you just need to prevent leak. If we can prevent leak, leaks going on under here, we're getting that airtight system and we get a better hold on those parts. We always joke, if you have a hole in your boat, do you want a bigger bilge pump or do you want to patch that hole? Let's patch the holes, make everything airtight, prevent leak, and that's where we're going to hold your parts. More parts in less time, that's the idea. We look forward to work with you guys. We're looking forward to putting more videos together. Send us your questions, send us your videos, send us your pictures of parts, and we'll do our best to help you out. Thank you very much.